Hey, how's it going there? YouTube, Leon right here, back again with another deck profile for you all. Today, um, I have, of course, for you guys, my Musketeer deck. I've had a uh, lot of uh, comments and emails about uh, this, and I've posted other new and extra decks, but a lot of you guys wanted to see Musketeer, so let's get right on into it. I got these nice sleeves off of eBay, because Amazon had them too high. It's uh, Roka uh, Flamey sleeves, so I thought it'd suit the deck a lot. And uh, let's get into the main deck. We're going to go with uh, Strides Last, of course. So for the Grade Threes, first we play four. Vera, Licorice Musketeer Vera. It is the Legion, and its skill is... Uh, let's see if you guys can see that. Uh, its skill is during your turn, uh, when this unit Legion, all of your Musketeer units get plus 3,000 power. And its secondary skill is Act, but you only do it once per turn. Um... Uh, retire one of your own uh, musketeer rearguards, and if you if you pay that cost, you um, search the top five cards of your deck for one musketeer, and you call it to the field, and you shuffle your deck, of course. Next for the grade threes, we play four Cecilia because we do play the Cecilia Stride. Uh, you don't really use her limit break, well you can if you want, and uh, you can use your secondary skill if you're sitting on her and you can't stride. Limit break is counter blast one. Look at the uh, look for five normal units in your drop zone. Put them to the bottom of your deck in any order, and then look for up to two of her and call them to the field. Secondary skill is, uh, well, then you shuffle your deck afterwards, and then your secondary skill is uh, same as Vera. Uh, sack one, uh, top five to sack another, and shuffle your deck, of course. All right, that's it, and let's move on to the grade twos. I play four Augusto. It's a 12k attacker. And I play three Pansy Musketeer Sylvia. Uh, it's not like the other grade twos where it says uh, the card called must be grade uh, one or two. This it can be anything as long as it has musketeer in the name, so you can make a board really, really easily. And then I only play uh, three of the Liquor Musketeer Saul, the Legion Mate. I just thought that four was uh, way too much and it made the deck a little more inconsistent, so I lowered it to three, and it uh, it's been working uh, much better than I've hoped. It just makes more space for um, other cards such as uh, the grade one lineup. First card is Water Lily Musketeer Ruth. Uh, it's 10k attacker. Uh, you don't really uh, need to play too many because it's not too important. It's just a nice beater from time to time, so I just play two of. Play three Lily of the Valley Musketeer Rebecca. Her skill is Counter Boss 1 when she's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle. Sack one of your Musketeer units. Uh, Rearguards, look at the top, look at top four for, of your deck for a Musketeer unit. Call it and shuffle your deck. Then I play four of the other, uh, this promo, Dandy Lion Musketeer America. If you play Musketeer at all, I highly recommend you play this card. Its skill is uh, when your deck is shuffled, uh, when this unit uh, during the turn that your deck is shuffled, when this unit boosts, it boosts for nine. And uh, another key hint: when this card is in your hand, uh, you still get the effect that you, when your deck is being shuffled. So when you call it, it still gets that effect. Uh, next, I play four Perfect Guard. Um, I don't play any Quintet Wall, because I don't find it too necessary to um, guard that way. If you want to guard something, and then you uh, nullify it completely. Next, I play uh, two Anemone Musketeer Susana. This deck is quite counterblast heavy from time to time, so Soul Blast 2 and Flip 2, you know, get your damage back on track. Now let's move on to the triggers. I play 8 Crit, uh, 4 Daniel, and 4... Al Alan, its skill. Uh, his skill is uh, when he's placed on rearguard circle from the deck, you unflip two cards in the damage. So it's another way of uh, unflipping cards in the damage zone. Next, I play uh, <laughs> the number one card that definitely makes this uh, deck counterblast heavy. Uh, for Ernest, Ernst, Ernest. Uh, its skill is uh, counterblast one. Put it to the bottom of your deck. Look at the top four cards of your deck and search for up to one musketeer unit and call it to your field. I play this over the draws simply because I stride a lot in the deck, so and you normally use your uh, promos, especially Sylvia and your other cards to sack and thin out your deck f to keep the triggers in and call out all the other units out. Also get draw power off of Saul, so I didn't really find it too necessary to play draws in this deck because I always keep nice hand size. And um, the fact that you have a trigger that can go back to the deck is always resourceful, and getting an extra attack off, especially after your Legion or power up with your strides, definitely helps a ton and that's why i play the stand you can totally play the heal trigger if you wish but uh, that's just player's preference next i play uh for hannah the heal trigger of course 
And finally for the starter, I play the one and only Gypsophilia Musketeer Riza. Or Riza. Skill is uh, when your unit is in Legion, it's uh, Vanguard of the Musketeer in the name. Counterblast 1 when this unit is retired. Leave the top four cards of your deck for up to one Musketeer unit and call it to your field. Now let's move on to the strides. That's pretty much it for the main deck. If there's anything you'd want to change, uh, send me an email or put it in the comments down below. If there's uh, any ideas that you have for this deck, then you should definitely let me know, and uh, I'll try them out. If it works, yay, we help each other out. All right, so for I play uh, two white Lily Musketeer Captain Cecilia. This is the, uh, the Cecilia stride, and its skill is Counterblast 1, uh and choose two of your musketeer rearguards and retire them. Look at the top if you have a heart with Cecilia in the name, you look at the top four five cards of your deck and call three to the field. So it's great for um first stride early game uh, field uh, pressure and you can beat down the opponent as much as you wish. Next I play two multivitamin dragon. I play this over uh, like one primavera and uh, I mean, or uh, one multivitamin. I just decided to play two simply because the deck is too counterblast heavy to play primavera, and multivitamin skill is very essential to this deck since you can always make a uh, nice um, even or uh, symmetrical field. You know, you want your back row to be Merca, but any other one, uh, one grade one will do uh, fine, and your front row is always going to be like an Augusto or Saul. Uh, possibly grade three, but with multivitamin, you choose one of your back row rear guards, and if you just so happen to have three Merca, use its skill. All of them get plus five. If you ever happen to shuffle the deck in any way that turn, such as using the stand trigger, which always happens, um, they all get plus three. So then they all boost for nine, fourteen by themselves, and it's absolutely amazing. Opens up so many power plays, and that's pretty much why I play multivitamin dragon. Uh, next, I play two of the Asha Stride. Its skill is uh, once per turn, you uh, you Persona Flip, and you uh, if, if the units in your uh, front row are, are the same, then you... Oh, wait a minute, is it units in the front row, or is it... Uh, choose one of your regards if you have two or... Never mind, if you have two or more uh, regards with the same name as a unit, all your units in the front row get plus uh, 5,000 power. So, oh, technically your front row. Uh, normally when you do this, you'd want to have um, Augusto on the field to get the best uh, play. And its secondary skill is um, if the number of face up in your G zone is uh, strides in your G zone is two or more, uh, search your deck for what uh, a copy of one of the units on your field, and you call it and it gets plus two K. So what you want to do is you want to have a f uh, front row of Augusto or at least uh, two Americas on the field. Search your deck for up to one of them, call them to its respective uh, rearguard circle, and then. That newly called unit gets plus 2k, and all your back row markers get plus 3 when they boost. So you'd be making amazing uh, 21k attackers or uh, 23k attackers against cross rides. It's absolutely amazing. That's why I play Asha. It's one of the best finishers in the deck. And for the one ofs, I play one or Burrow from the trial deck. Skill is on hit. Choose one of your rear guards and copy, and it gets plus, it gets plus uh, 2,000 power. She just has a pressure card, and if I don't have uh, Cecilia on my Vanguard Circle for Cecilia Stride, I'd always go into this first. And, of course, I play one Maydu. You know, you play Legion, so you ought to play one Maydu. Its skill is uh, when you stride on a unit whose power is originally uh, 10,000 or lower, uh, look at your drop zone for a Grade 3 and add it to your hand. So if you ditch a Cecilia or another Legion well, while you're already in Legion, because when you're in Legion, you know, you have a... You have a grade two in your Vanguard circle, so when you stride Madu, it counts as the uh, grade two is uh, lower than ten, just like a uh, Cat Butler and Nova Grappler. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you use this to uh, get your Legion back or any other grade three back for stride fodder, Legion fodder, and that's it for my deck profile, guys. I really hope you all enjoy. There is definitely a lot of uh, players' preference uh, in this deck, but like I said, this is the way that um, I like it to be played it's definitely very very aggro in the early game and it works very well for me but it, if there's any changes or any uh, personal plays you guys like to make comment them down below i'm sure everybody else in the world would want to know them and this is lena hart out peace